Hey, it's your girl Barbie J. Welcome to my channel. Hey, hey, hey there, my Tyler Perry sisters fans. It's your girl Barbie J here with my two cents about a scene that, guess what? It ain't got a damn thing to do about that mocktail. <laughs> I tell you. It's something that happened a couple of episodes ago, but we it hasn't been addressed and we don't know what's going on with it. And I'm I'm curious to see where these new writers are leading it. And that would be the scene with Tamara and Gary. What was that all about? Let's cut to the chase. Neither of us need hate knowing about that. We both agreed it was nothing, so let's keep it that way. Fine by me. Not for nothing, y'all, but I am actually interested in knowing where this storyline is going. Yeah, me too. Listen, I meant what I said earlier. Aiden doesn't even know about this. We need to pretend like it never happened. Can you do that? Can you do that? Without bad mouthing me to Aiden? I was just trying to protect him from getting scammed. I'll text you the horse emoji if I want you. Please. You've always wanted me ever since Hayden brought me around. Hayden ain't shit compared to me. And you know that now. Tamara and Gary, he meets her at a hotel. He has sex with her. He doesn't want her to tell Hayden about it. He said Hayden don't need to know about it. And Hayden was a weak or something. What did he say? That he was nothing. Hayden was is nothing. And now you know that, meaning that he was better in bed than Hayden was. And Tamara's trying to let Gary know, baby, 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 you knew you wanted me from the moment get, uh, Hayden brought me around. Stop trying to play yourself. And he's like, yeah, you wish that was the case. But uh-uh, she knows it's the case. Player knows player. And she knows that you wanted her, and that's why you kept complaining about her. <laughs> I mean, I mean, basically, that's what it is. But here's the thing. That recording, that pen that she had sitting on the desk, flashing that red light, that red light flashing on that pen was very apparent. It is not hidden. She should have had it in a drawer or something. But that light just flashing and his cell phone just happens to be right by it and he never saw it flashing? There's no pins that flash. Are they insulting our intelligence, people? Because that's how I'm feeling with my intelligence being insulted. You're showing us the pin there flashing, but it stops flashing when Gary comes and picks up his cell phone? Nah, baby, no. And then when he leaves... It's flashing again when she reaches over to it and holds it. So what? Here's my question, y'all. What do you think Tamara's going to do with that? With that recording? Put it down in the comment section. What do you think she's going to do with the recording? Or what would you like for her to do with the recording? How about that one? You know, because I'm sure she's going to hold it some kind of way to blackmail Gary. And I don't know, you know, in that scene where we see Hayden, uh, Miss Marie wanting to sleep, have sex with Hayden or whatever. Will Hayden go and have sex with her? Does Hayden find out about Gary yet while this is happening before or after? You know, when is that storyline with Tamara and that recording and that pen going to come back up? And that's what I'm curious about. And this is what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that Tamara is going to hold on to that pen, I mean that recording, use it against Gary some way, and I'm hoping that it would help somebody, like help Andy or help this whole thing with Jordan or Penelope. You know, I'm hoping that she will do something good with it and not just use it for her own benefit or her own use or something like that, you know. But then what's going to happen? How is Hayden going to feel after it? Hayden's going to be pissed. Hayden's going to be pissed. He's probably going to probably go up there and try to fight Gary. Do y'all think that? Or will Gary twist it and make Hayden believe that Tamara came on to him? Because he kissed Tamara. It looked like he reached down to kiss her, if you ask me. And then he came to see her in a hotel. And then he called her on his phone, 
um, Hayden could see the incoming calls. He called her and told her, you know, that he keeps thinking about her and to think about him when he, she's having sex with Hayden and all of this stuff. So I'm just curious about that storyline, but that's what I think is going to happen, that Tamara's going to use it in some kind of way to blackmail Gary, but I'm hoping that she uses it in a positive, I don't really want her to use it as a black man. I want her to use it to help somebody so they could see what type of person Gary is. And But see, Tamara's not the type that do something that didn't benefit her. I don't see her as trying to help anybody else anyway. So like I said, y'all let me know down in the comment section what y'all think about it. And for those of you who haven't subscribed to my channel as of yet, Please take a moment right now, hit that subscribe button, then hit the notification bell and select all. It will let you know every time I upload any new content to this channel. Then I ask that you smash that like button, which is the thumbs up button. Write a comment, join our conversation, y'all. And share because sharing is caring. And I will see you all in the next video. It's your girl, Barbie J. Say in peace.